All you need to know about mice and how to eradicate them from your home. Mice are small, clever, and adaptable rodents that can be both fascinating and problematic when they invade your home. In this comprehensive guide, we'll delve into everything you need to know about mice, from their biology and behavior to effective ways of eradicating them from your home. There are numerous species of mice, but the most common in homes are the house mouse, moose musculus, and the deer mouse, Paramyscus maniculatus. House mice are small, gray or brown rodents with pointed noses and large ears. Deer mice are slightly larger, with bicolored fur and are known for their white bellies. Although it might vary, a mouse's life cycle usually lasts two years indoors, which can be problematic for nearby residents. Due to their high birth rate, mice not only wreak damage but also transmit disease. A mature female mouse can give birth to more than 60 offspring on average in a year. Females go into heat for four to five days. Rodents give birth after three weeks of pregnancy. Mice are prolific breeders. Females can reproduce up to 10 times a year, and litters typically contain five to eight pups. Before I continue, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. So more people can discover this content. Also subscribe to receive more content like this. When mice first emerge from the womb, they lack fur and are blind. After two weeks, the young mice grow thin fur and gradually become able to see and move. About two months after birth, mice reach sexual maturity and are prepared to mate. They are nocturnal, and their agility, keen senses, and quick reflexes make them challenging to catch. Mice are opportunistic feeders, consuming various foods like grains, seeds, and even small insects. Mice invade homes seeking shelter, warmth, and food. They often enter through small openings in search of these essentials. Your home provides an ideal environment for mice to thrive and reproduce. Detecting a mouse infestation early is crucial. Being nocturnal animals, mice would rather remain hidden throughout the day and forage for food from dark until dawn. These are some typical indicators of rodent activity that you may search for on your property. If you notice holes or shredded packaging, it may indicate mouse activity. Mice can chew through cardboard, plastic, and thin packaging materials to access food sources. A mouse can produce 50 to 80 tiny, dark, rice-shaped, sporadic droppings per night, measuring between 3 and 8 millimeters in length. This can be found inside, or on top of cabinets, or along skirting. A sign of grease markings that look like dark stains that appear around holes or corners and are caused by their bodies regularly rubbing against walls, floors, and skirting. In well-established or heavily infested areas, urine, soil, and body grease accumulate to form tiny mounds that can grow up to 4 cm high and 1 cm broad. Sounds of scratching, typically at night, when mice are most active. Keep an ear out for sounds coming from beneath flooring, in basements, lofts, full ceilings, and between partition walls. If there are mice around, your pets could behave strangely. Pets like cats or dogs could get restless, begin to sniff around, or show more interest in particular areas of your house. Take note of these indicators and conduct additional research. Mice usually create nest, which is initially lined with soft materials that are easily shredded like carpet and rubbish found in the vicinity. Examine attics. Vaulted ceilings. Hollow walls. Beneath floorboards. Behind refrigerators. Beneath stoves. And inside airing cupboards. Rodents can leave behind tail marks and tracks in dusty areas like abandoned lofts and basements. Use talc, flour, or china clay to make tracks, then look for new ones the next day to see if there has been any activity. Finding a mouse during the day may be a sign of a serious infestation. Mice urinate a lot, and the urine they produce smells strongly like ammonia. The fragrance indicates your proximity to mouse activity. Even after an infestation has been eradicated, this odor may persist for a considerable amount of time. Preventing mice from entering your home is the first line of defense. Pay close attention to areas around pipes and utility lines. To prevent rodents from entering, seal any holes you see. Use steel wool to plug tiny holes. To keep the steel wool in place, use spray foam or cork around it. For larger holes, use metal sheeting, cement, 
hardware cloth, lath screen, or lath metal. Trim material to encircle pipes. Use flashing around the base of the home. Outbuildings and garages should also be sealed to prevent the entrance of rodents. Mice are drawn to accessible food sources. Store food in airtight containers and clean up crumbs and food spills promptly. Mice thrive in cluttered environments. Keep your home clean, decluttered, and free of potential nesting sites. Cats do not prevent mice or rats from entering the house. When mice enter their home, they are aware that cats can detect their scent. Cats release chemicals into the air that scare mice away from their homes, because they cause mouse sensory organs to fire in fear and terror. Why then don't they prevent them from going into a house? Simply said, mice will go where cats cannot. Traps and baits are common methods for controlling mice. Snap traps are the classic choice for trapping mice. Place bait, such as peanut butter or cheese, on the trigger plate. When the mouse tries to take the bait, the trap snaps shut, killing the rodent instantly. Always set traps in areas with mouse activity. Electronic traps use bait to lure mice into an enclosed chamber, where they are electrocuted. These traps are efficient, humane, and easy to use. They typically have indicator lights to show when a mouse has been caught. Glue traps are non-lethal and capture mice by sticking them to the adhesive surface. While they are considered humane by some, they can be inhumane if not checked frequently, as trapped mice may die slowly from stress and dehydration. Use caution with glue traps. Poison baits or rodenticides are another option, but they should be used with caution, especially in homes with children or pets. Mice consume the bait and typically die a few days later. Locate and dispose of dead mice promptly to avoid odor and sanitation issues. Live traps capture mice unharmed, allowing you to release them elsewhere. This method is considered more humane. However, ensure you release the mouse far from your home, as they have a strong homing instinct. These are effective when placed in areas with high mouse activity. Peppermint oil, cloves, and mothballs are some natural repellents that mice dislike. Placing these near entry points or in problem areas can discourage mice from entering. In case you find a dead mouse, follow these steps to handle it safely. Use disposable gloves or litter pickup tool to avoid direct contact with the carcass. Carefully pick up the mouse with a plastic bag and turn it inside out to contain the remains. Tie the bag securely and place it in a second plastic bag to double seal it. Dispose of the bag in an outdoor trash bin. Wash your hands thoroughly afterward. If the infestation is severe or persistent, consider enlisting the help of professional pest control services. They can provide targeted solutions and ensure the complete eradication of the mice. Mice infestations can be a common issue in homes, but with the right knowledge and tools, you can effectively manage and eliminate them. Understanding the biology and behavior of mice, along with implementing preventive measures and control strategies, will help you maintain a mouse-free home. Remember to choose eradication methods that align with your values and safety considerations, and always be mindful of potential health hazards and the welfare of pets and children. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more content, leave a comment to let us know your thoughts, and share this video with your friends. If you have any suggestions for content, please feel free to message me. Your support means a lot to us.